Hi everyone, John Martinson here today to show you how to share a USB stick from your host Linux PC to your guest Windows XP VM or virtual machine. So let's get started. First thing you want to do is you're going to plug in your USB stick. So I'm doing that right now. Wait for it to load in Linux. And when it's finished loading, then you can load your virtual box. We'll do that right now. Go all the way down the middle here to USB filters. Okay. Simply then go to the right where there's a green tiny little plus uh, character and click that. And now you can see all the USB devices that are plugged into your host machine. And we're going to pick the SanDisk Cruiser. Okay, and we can click OK and then shut down VirtualBox. And now we're going to right click and safely remove this USB stick. It's now time to load Windows XP. Now one thing you'll notice is that if you haven't installed the Robolinux Stealth VM software, you're not going to be able to share USB sticks in VirtualBox. Um, unfortunately, um, Oracle kind of fell short there and it doesn't work. Um, so we wrote some code uh, that changes your root file system to allow sharing uh, USB sticks in Debian distributions. Um, and then also we automatically add your user to the uh, VBox users group. Okay, so here we are. We want to check devices in the top. So just at the top here, click on the devices. Go down to USB devices and you will not see the USB device because I have not plugged it in. <clears throat> so I'm going to plug it in. Okay. And if you watch these little indicator lights on the bottom, you can see when the USB and it tells me it has actually seen it. So from devices, we go to USB devices, we see our SanDisk is in fact now loaded. Now you don't see it come up on the screen because Oracle kind of fell short again and it doesn't work like that in XP. In Windows 7 it will automatically come up. So in XP you go to the start button, go to my computer, and there you have your 16 gig stick. And that is how that works in Windows XP. So I want to thank you for watching this RoboLinux tutorial video today and for your very kind support too. I hope you have a great day and may God bless you.